my friends and welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back if you are back if you are new hi my name's rabbit and my pronouns are they them either way thank you so so much for clicking on my video i am so freaking excited i cannot believe it um real quick can i show you my look um got the pigtails i wish i had like green and purple scrunchies but i don't so just pretend that they are um i'm also wearing these little bat bone hair clips that i just made out of dollar tree dollarama dollar tree Dollar Tree Bones. Makeup, green and purple, and then like below it's like opposite green and purple, so like purple below this, but I don't know if you can see it that much, but I think it looks very, very fun. I also did this spider web. This one looks way better. Don't pay attention to this one, it's fine. Um, I just trimmed my bangs, so they might look a little wonky, but it's fine. Lipstick from the dollar store with black eyeliner around it. Choker from the thrift store. This is like a keychain with a glow-in-the-dark spider that I put on a little string to wear as a necklace. Handmade faux rosary with some stars and a little bat and a little tooth on it. Fishnet shirt, glow-in-the-dark, Halloween bracelet, creature of the night bracelet, both uh, this one I made and it's got like a little tooth on it and it's very very cute. Rings, my nails look good or okay for once in their life and the shirt I made. Okay, I have had the most amazing freaking Halloween day. Uh, when I'm filming this, it's September 1st, so like the official beginning of spooky season. I like went out this morning to all the shops with my Halloween vest on, which I like made recently, and I got a compliment on it, which was like really, really amazing. And I just was feeling like all the spooky vibes. I had been spending the last week like slowly collecting songs for like my playlist of this year. I have, I think seven hours on my playlist now of like new spooky Halloween songs. So this morning I just drove around. I wanted to go to Dollar Tree because last night Jade the Libra uploaded this video of like her Dollar Tree haul and I was just like okay I have to go even though I've done so much Halloween shopping I feel like it's been absolutely wild and it's only September 1st but I was like okay I have to just like go really quickly to check that out and yeah this morning I got to just like go around with my coffee and my vest and like listening to my playlist and I was like honestly having the best time the leaves are like just finally starting to change just like a little bit there's like a couple of like yellows and things over here and there and like people have been like posting their Halloween content for the past couple months and stores have been putting out their stuff for like the past couple months so I am like like fully ready for it to be fall. I wasn't really feeling it last month because it was like 30 degrees, like in August, like it was so hot that like despite the fact that I could like see other people doing the spooky stuff around me, I just was like, how it's so hot. But now it's September, I'm so ready, prepared. I'm gonna decorate probably like very shortly after I film this. So I wanted to film this so I could get decorating. This is like enough of a ramble. It's gonna be a super long video. I have a ton of Halloween haul things to show you. As usual, Marshalls, HomeSense, Winners, Michaels. I'll try to remember where everything's from and let you know. Get a spooky drink if you'd like. I have a coffee with maple syrup, almond creamer in it. It's so good, like a spooky straw. And I got this mug last year and I love it. Let's get settled in. Let's look at all the exciting new Halloweenies I got this year. Without further ado, shall we get into it? Okay, I wanna show you this, this guy. Um, as you guys might know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I love cats, especially black cats, and I have way too many mugs, but I got another black cat mug. <laughs> Look how cute this thing is. Um, it's ceramic, it's like a little bit small. It's microwave and dishwasher safe, which is always very important for me. The only thing is that this kind of pointy ear thing um, looks like it'll be uncomfortable to drink out of, so I feel like this is gonna be more like a mug that holds pens or lipsticks or some kind of thing like that. But regardless, it's just like the cutest little like kind of angry cat. Um, this design reminds me very much of Joanna Parker and I just adore it. It was eight bucks from I think Winners, but it might have been HomeSense or TJ Maxx. Uh, they're all like sister companies, so all of them kind of get the same stock. And I think I've seen this at all of them, but yes. To begin, little little kitty. I also love that they have like a little yellow collar that's shaped like a bat. That's adorable. Um, I'm very excited about this guy. Next, I had seen this guy like maybe two or three times and kept like wanting him and then like being like, no, I shouldn't. Uh, and finally just being like, you know what? I really like him. I'm going to get him. And I'm very happy about it. I got a crow little crow friend. I feel like Michaels did a lot of like interesting crows last year that were like kind of feathery looking, but I really like this kind of like sculpture situation. I'm not crazy about the bronze, so I might like brush it over with silver instead, but for now it's just like this awesome little podium with a crow on it. It was $14.99 from HomeSense. Um, also, as usual, all my prices that I say are in Canadian dollars, so... Convert that as you wish. I love it. It's very cute in my opinion. Next, this was from my parents. Um, They have bees, so I always get delightful honey and honeycomb and sometimes beeswax candles from them. So um, this feels very autumnal. Like they used little adorable molds. 
that looked like beehives and then just did like some like this and like oh my god i just opened the box and the smell is so strong i almost don't want to like burn these i just want to like try to like put them in warm places in my house so they just like slightly melt over time and just have this amazing aroma of like beeswax going because like when you go into their garden and you can like smell the honey like wafting through the air it's like the most magical thing and i remember one of my friends <laughs> in high school used to keep this like beeswax thing in her car and, when, and in the summer it would get super hot it would like melt a little bit and it just always smelled amazing in there so I'm kind of like thinking about like where can I put this that it will slightly melt the smell is freaking enchanting and I'm always delighted to get beeswax candles from my parents this time of year when they get to harvest the honey so ha that's a super fun thing this I'm so freaking excited about I'm always on the lookout for more spooky plates especially since Tuna broke one of mine recently. But this is a set um, from Eaton Fine Dining of microwave and dishwasher safe plates. There's four different designs, and in my opinion, they're all amazing, but I haven't like properly looked at them, just like at the picture on the back. Um, so yes, this was $12.99 for the set of four, and I let's go through them really quickly. Okay, so this one with like the cauldron, the bubbling potion. I'm so sorry about the glare, you guys. I hope you can see it at this angle that I'm holding it at. Let's see. Oh, like a mortar and pestle skull, and like all the eyeballs, the smoke coming out of it, the potion books. I think all the borders around them are different as well, which is kind of fun, but these are really, really cute. This is like the perfect size for like just a piece of toast. I eat toast for breakfast every, every morning, peanut butter toast, and it's my favorite, and this is like a good size for them. This is really cute. This is like a graveyard scene with a pumpkin, a witch... F <laughs> Every time I say see a witch flying on a broom, I want to say it like Jade the Labor says it, where she's like, a witch flying on a broom. <laughs> I totally said it wrong there, but you know what I mean if you watch her videos. Uh, but yeah, it's a witch flying on a broom uh, <laughs> with a jack-o'-lantern, a little cemetery, a big old spider, nice stormy night. I would love to visit a cemetery like this for like a midnight picnic like stargaze with the spider webs and all the little stars all around. Oh, it's beautiful. This is the one I was really, really excited for. Um, I love rats and this one's got a big, big, cute, adorable rat on it. Okay, yes, yeah, so there's like this candle that's kind of like almost like glowing through the thing. There's a snake crawling through the skull with like the rat also like perched on it. There's like old books and like herbs by the skull and it's it's very spooky very witchy I like this a lot it's very very nice oh i like this one a lot i think this is my second favorite probably okay so we got a spooky haunted house with little bats spooky trees the ghosts everything you could ever want the moon the stars a little fence even in front with like this adorable little i love it they thought of everything these are such enchanting little scenes i would like love to visit all of the scenes that are like pictured in these and just like explore and visit and say hello to all the ghosties and the bats and very nice very nice i really i'm really happy with those i think those might be some of my favorite place that i've found like ever okay and then this i was not expecting to find this this year but i was on the lookout every time i went because i'm always on the lookout for joanna parker stuff if you know me and have watched my previous halloween hauls and I found a set of Joanna Parker towels! They're so cute! The best part about these also is that um, I kind of hate when you get a towel set and like the first one is adorable and then the other one is just like black with polka dots or like something super boring. Like I, I get the people like the contrast but I would way rather like both have a design even if it's the same design. If it's an adorable one like this I will take it. These are also a lot thicker than the last Joanna Parker towels that I got so I'm very pleased about that because the other ones are just those like super super flimsy ones that are like honestly just for decoration but they're so beautiful that I couldn't resist. These ones are like actually sturdy enough to use and they just got this adorable ghosty with the little bow tie and little jack-o'-lantern pail. I'm sorry for the baby voice. I'm very very pleased with these. Um, they were from Honesense. 10 bucks. So, 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 so happy. I feel like during the year, I never go to like mainstream stores. Like I pretty much only go to the thrift store. But during Halloween, they just get like the best stuff and I can't, it's too, it's too much. I can't control myself. And then like, that's when I get like all my spooky, my housewares for the whole year. So these are not like, if you're watching my channel and being like, how are you gonna use all that in just like two months? No, this is like for year round forever. This will, this stuff stays out all the time at my house. Okay, next, another one of these. I'm very, very pleased with this. It's kind of the same series as this one, but it's another cat mug. This one looks much easier to drink out of, I think. Adorable shape, adorable little cat with a witch hat perched on the top. This is Cobwebs and Cauldrons, six bucks from HomeSense. I love it, it's nice and big. This is like the perfect size for me. I love it very much. Very, very cute. And like that little cat on top, mm. 
I'm very, very pleased with it. The other thing I stock up on for the year during the Halloween season is candles because the, the spooky scents are always the best ones. This one is ridiculously sweet and delicious and like a little bit smoky, but mostly just like the most amazing caramel, like the caramel that you're like about to put on an apple and like filling the entire house with like that amazing smell. Oh, it's amazing. So yeah, this is English Toffee Obscure Ephemera. It's by Modern Alchemy. I usually don't really care about what they come and it's more about the smell for me, but the top is cool because it's got like a bug on it. And um, I've seen some people like use these as like wall hangings after they're done with the candle, but usually I just use the candle container as like a container for other stuff. So that's the plan when this is done, but I'm just very excited to burn this because the smell is absolutely amazing. Then this is really fun. I got this at Dollarama to repaint because it's kind of boring as is, but it's just like a little candle stand tombstone that says, I'll be back. It's got a little kitty. <laughs> and yeah, kind of just a silly thing, uh, 250 and I'm excited to make something cute with it. I like to stock up on all my like craft supplies for the year during Halloween as well. But this other thing that I got, I'm so excited about it. I got these from Michaels and I've gone back and forth so much on what I wanna use them for. Also, if you don't know, you should get the Michaels app because you can always go on there and there's a coupon for 30% off. And I usually try to go there and buy one thing at a time so I can use the 30% coupon every time. Um, but yes, I got these there and they're just these tiny little tombstones. And my first idea, like I got the originally to put in my plants so my plants could have like little graveyard tombstone settings but I've been looking at them and they're so freaking cute that I almost want to make at least one or two of them into hair clips so maybe like some in the plants some in the hair we will see how it goes but they're absolutely adorable really really nice and detailed um just got them from michael's 30 percent off and very very pleased with that speaking of michael's let me get this other thing that i got sorry i usually try to keep the packaging all together when i get stuff for my halloween hauls and not touch anything until i film this video so it stays together um but i got these stamps that i have been using because i was just too excited about them um also from michael's they are absolutely amazing i think it'll be easier if i show you one by one this is my favorite got a little black cat with like a spooky little face and it's just like the cutest thing ever. This one's fine. I could give or take this one. It says home sweet haunted home and I haven't used it yet. It's like one of the only clean ones. The skull I love. I've gotten a lot of use out of this one already. It's like a nice realistic skull. The cauldron is fantastic. I really like this one. Really nice and detailed. Shows up amazing. Spider very delicate. Um, I've used this a couple times. It's pretty nice. Tombstone I've already gotten a ton of use out of. Love it. Really, really nice details. Love the shading. Love the little grass pieces. I haven't used the brain yet. I don't do a ton of zombie stuff. I feel like uh, brains are very like zombie, but regardless, uh, it's nice and detailed, so I, I should probably use that one. And then I've also gotten a lot of use out of the spider web. It's a really good one too. I forget how much they were. I really, really enjoy them and I've been getting a lot of use, so highly recommend. Also, on a Michael's trip, I got this! Okay, I've always kind of wanted to get like fancy Michael scrapbook paper, but normally I've only just like gotten it from the dollar store, which is fine, but the Michaels one is always like so nice and fancy looking and I'm always like, no, I shan't, like I should just print that or like blah blah blah, but then I never actually print designs and I was like looking through this and I was like, you know what, like just I will, I will do it, I will get it, and I've already gotten a ton of use out of it because I was really inspired by watching like some people make these like really fancy like Halloween planners, plus like so many of these designs like I can see me using in other crafts throughout the year because I'm always like DIYing stuff so I have just said you know what it's fine um so yes this is the Halloween paper pad that I got I think each pattern came with like three of each of its design this is one of my favorites like all the little bats in the moon but it's also got like stripies little like oh my god sorry there's like no good way to show this see there's a bunch of fun patterns in there uh, I really like the bones. I also really like this one has like a lot of fun pieces in it. Black and white stripes. Uh, any of black and white or orange stripes are always nice. The jack-o'-lanterns are fun. I like the spider webs. These jack-o'-lanterns are also great. There's another version of that. Little bats. This one's really nice. I like these ghosts a lot. Classic orange and black stripes. I really like this candy corn kitties and just like some words and yeah it's a good one i really enjoy it already gotten quite a bit of use out of it and very pleased to see all the different things that i will make with this yes onwards and upwards with that another thing of mugs this is by shelly kamiski and it's called little village and they're four espresso mugs and they're so freaking cute 
Look at the pumpkin. Look, look at all of them. They're such fun little like vintagey characters. I don't know. I, I think in my household these will be more of like holding things mug than drinking mugs because I don't really drink espresso and I don't really drink things that small. So probably either for snacks or for craft supplies. Either way, I love them and I am so so excited to break them out. Um, so I got them from HomeSense. It was $14.99 for the four of them and I am incredibly pleased. There's the ghosty. So cute. The kitty is my favorite. I love that angry little face and it's like, I think it's like from the same set. So very, very cool. Matchy matchy. This was the set of four espresso mugs was the first thing I found. Then I found this, I think, and then I found the other one. And the little jack-o-lantern is very fun. This very over the garden wall. It reminds me of so yes very very pleased with these little guys excited to see whatever they may hold sorry for the slamming sounds next i always try to get one of these every halloween um dollarama always has these great big tote bags and one of my favorite designs is like the skeleton playing fetch with his own arms with his like skeleton dogs i love it so goofy and always a very helpful then this guy is amazing i was so so happy for him uh to find him um i got him at michael's and i think with my discount he was like 13 dollars and it's this gorgeous little bat statue. It comes with like this kind of burlapy looking twine that I'll definitely pay changing out. But he's really nicely detailed. I love the adorable little face. And the, like it's nice on both sides. I thought it was a really good deal. And I'm really excited for him to find a home. I think he's a really, really exciting piece. And now I finally found spooky blankets. This is my first set of spooky blankets for the season. I originally found these ones and I thought they were absolutely amazing. So cute. They have a really nice vintagey feel and they're just like honestly so cozy and snuggly. They were $25, I wanna say, and jumbo size it says. So I'm really, let's actually see how big exactly it is. But I was so super super excited to find it but then I found another set that I was like oh no like that one's also super cute and I decided to just get both because they're so perfect both of them and there's two of us that live in the house this is like a nice big size um there's two of us that live in the house so having like two um big fuzzy cozy spooky blankets for the season made absolute sense so yeah this is the pumpkin one it's so cute and it was from home sense the other one which is cage's favorite so i think this is going to be kind of mine that i'm going to use more and then the other one cage can use more is this one amazing dude so cute sorry it's upside down just noticed literally hello those little spooky cats with their little spooky faces. The thing, the only thing that was kind of preventing me from getting this at first was that it's dark navy blue and nothing in our house is really dark navy blue so I was worried it wouldn't fit. But like with these cats, I was just completely sold. And then seeing Cage's reaction when I came home, I was like, made a good choice, very, very happy with this. And yeah, I'm sure he'll be super excited to use it. I could not be happier with a spooky blanket such as this. Next. This isn't really like Halloween per se, but I found it when I was out like downtown with my cousin and it's a sticker book of mystical ephemera with my newfound love of like scrapbooking and crafting and constantly doing this kind of thing. I was like, you know what? I'm sure I can find a use for these. So I'm really, really excited to use them. I think the first thing they'll be used for is for making my like CD cover for Cage and I's spooky playlist this year because there's lots of like very vintagey looking things. So I'm very, very, very pleased with that. Then this, I want to say I got at the grocery store last time I was there. It's got like little 3D kind of pumpkins and bats and, and ghosties and it's very, very cute. Then this I got on Facebook Marketplace and it's the cutest little lot of fabric. It was 10 bucks for everything and I'm really, really pleased with it. I don't know who this artist is that made like these kind of like little faces with like the very close together eyes and the really big smiles. But this person collected a lot of that fabric, so I have a lot of that now. This is so cute with like the little black cat jumping over the moon. And then there's a couple of swaths of this that have like the little kind of crow, spooky crow on a pumpkin. So funny and cute. I'm really excited about that. And then this one, this is like, yeah, if you know this artist's name or like what this art style is called, because I feel like it's like a very specific like 80s thing. This lady had a lot of it, um, but I really like kind of this section. I don't really love the little people faces. I think maybe they'd be better if I put little jack-o'-lanterns or something over them. But regardless, they're, they're still okay. Then this one I'm not sure that I'll use, but that's okay. It's like these little ghosties. They're like kind of goofy. Some purple spiders. This is so cute. I'm really excited about this one. I feel like this would make a great back patch. It says trick or treat and the little kitty has a little thing that says treats only. Dude, are you joking me? It's so cute. The little frog on top, the jack-o'-lantern, the spider, like 
absolutely amazing all the way around. I really, really like this piece. Then slime green's not really my color, but I'm sure I'll find a use for this little slime green spider fabric. And this is kind of funny. Uh, very like kind of 80s classroom style. I love this one. Very like classic-y. Again, 70s, 80s vintage. I love it. And then Cage really liked these. He was very excited that I got them. It's like little bears. In, this one's like in a jester costume. This one's like in a little sheep costume. It says very scary. And there's little jack-o'-lanterns. And there's another one of those. And this fabric has like a backing that I think is meant to be iron on. So that's kind of helpful if I want to make these into patches. I think that like those little jack-o'-lanterns are really cute. I'm not sure if it was maybe originally for a specific project and they just kind of used the pieces they, they wanted because I do that so I get it, but who knows. And then this was the biggest piece of fabric they gave me. And it's fun. It's got like little bears in costumes, little pumpkins. Again, that really classic like kind of kindergarten teacher Halloween look that I've just been really embracing this year. So I am super, super happy about that. That was all for $10 from Facebook Marketplace. So, so happy to like go through other people's craft stashes in this way and, and get to use up all their unfinished pieces. So good for me. Next, I needed a new rug for the kitchen because ours is like all peeling and bending and all these things. This is from Dollarama. It's quite cute. Um, it was $4.50. And I like it. I think it will make a great replacement. We're making our way through, I promise, guys. Again, I did not need more mugs, but tell me you wouldn't be able to resist these. They're like the most spooky vintage. Like, this is so cute. I originally thought it was like some kind of holder, but no, it's like three different mugs. They secured them together nice and tight. Um, 17 bucks for the set of them that was from HomeSense. And I love them. They're so sweet. This one will probably be like either a snack mug, uh, but these two will be for drinking. The bottom two are for drinking. And I think they'll look really cute like in my kitchen all stacked up. Next, for cleaning in my kitchen, I always just use these like little blue reusable towels and they're fine, they work, they're good, but they're not cute. So I got cute ones because I found them. Um, so it's like these ones, it's got like a Ouija set, uh, orange with bats, another Ouija set just with a different font, purple with bats and some little skeletons kind of dancing. Um, so it's just like these reusable, it says reusable paper towel, and it came on like a little thing, but I'm probably just gonna take them off the spool and fold them up and like put them where I keep mine. Um, so I really, really like these. I actually got two sets of them and I'm excited to use them for many years to come, hopefully. I'm still gonna buy paper towel for when I have to clean up like cat puke and like super gross stuff like that. But for like basic wiping down my kitchen, like these are amazing. Um, so this is like, yeah, the kind of Ouija set. And then this one's got ghosts on it and it's orange. So we got like little ghosties, stripes, more ghosties, more stripes and more ghosties. So, haha, -ha, very exciting. Kind of wish I could have bought them without this thing because I don't need it and I'm just gonna donate it to the thrift store because it still works. It's like a fine paper towel holder, but I don't need another paper towel paper towel holder. Regardless, very exciting. Now I think I'm at the bag that like this was the first kind of things that I bought so I don't really remember what a lot of this stuff is so I'm excited to go through it. This I'm super stoked for. Um, it's like a drink mix. It's to make an apple martini so basically you put vodka in it and there's like all fruits and sugar and green food coloring and it's just gonna make like the funnest colored cocktail I can tell. I also have like green glitter and glow sticks and it's just gonna be like a whole freaking vibe. Cage isn't much of a drinker, but I love apple things. And I've been wanting to make like a green apple, poison apple kind of like flavored drink since last season. And I feel like this is gonna be my chance. Then I got some more new towels. These are so cushy and soft and some of mine are getting a little gross after like two or three years of use now. Um, so this was a set for $15. She's like black towels with the white bats and they're like so nice and cushy soft. This is like my my need now for towels is they have to be like this good material and not like super flimsy like I used to get in the previous years because then I never really use them. And these ones are adorable. Um, I got them for the bathroom because the bathroom is kind of a pastel theme and they're pink with white ghosties. So cute. I know a lot of people hate the pastel Halloween theme that's come out this year. Like I know Michaels is doing a lot of it and I've seen it in like home sense and stuff with like things like this, but I love it. I'm not super in my pastel um, style era at the moment. I'm sure I'll return to it at any day. Um, I'm always going through different style phases, but I love pastel gothy stuff. So honestly, it was a great thing for me to see. I was really happy about it and kind of sad that everyone was like, this sucks. Like, what is this? Next, I have a bunch of stuff that I got from the thrift store. This my cousin found while we were out thrifting together. It's so fun. Um, it's called Mr. Bones and it's an ice cube maker thing and I tried it already and it actually works really really well. Basically it's like you got a little skeleton guy, you got like this thing, 
you put the ice in it and it makes like a little skeleton guy and it's super fun um he kind of wiggles and moves and like it's like a whole yeah it's just like a very goofy fun situation so i was really really pleased about him then this was also from the thrift store it was two dollars and it's just a electric candle i don't know if you can see that literally at all because of how bright it is in here same with these they're on i don't know if you can see them um but yeah i love these kind of electric candles for like doing forts and for when i don't want to burn my house down a great option. Also from the thrift store, I found this container, which I want to say was part of Michael's collection two years ago because I have a bunch of the other ones that kind of match it, but it's really, really cute. It says Black Cat Whiskers Essence, Salem Apothecary. It's got some really lovely kind of vintage inspired illustrations. And also at that thrift store, I found this little cute vintage trick or treat thing. It was $2 and it's got like little witch hat, little ghosty, little bat and just these little candy corns. I love candy corn. I think it's so cute. Like I can't eat it because it's not vegan, but I think it's really, really cute. So I'm very pleased with that. I also got this guy that says happy Halloween and it's like a little lantern and you put like the candle in the back of him and I'm sure he'll light up very, very nicely. I love his little witch hat. He feels very vintage and cute. And then last from the thrift store. Oh, this was also $2.99 from Value Village. And then last from the thrift store, I got this set of candy bags, also $2. And it came with confetti, so it's got like some confettis, this little ghosty design, this little ghosty design, this cat design that I could do without, honestly, and this pumpkin design that I like a lot. Honestly, these two I could live without, but these two I like a lot, plus the other stuff I like, so I was happy to get that. And I think that's what I found at the thrift store for this year. From... From Winners. I've been eyeing these things since they came out, but I haven't committed to them because I'm like, I don't want to pay $15 for them, but $10 and knowing which ones I'll get, I could go for it. Um, so I finally caved and bought zombies. You guys! They're really cute! Basically, if you don't know, they're like these little zombie-themed dolls. I talk about them a little bit in my ranking spooky doll lines video, but I got my two favorite ones from series one. The first is She's Shady, who's like a little vampire-themed lady, and I think she's adorable. She's got like a little parasol. She reminds me kind of like of Elvira or Vampire. She got like those kind of vibes. Little sunglasses, her V-shaped hair her little dress. And they have like a cute little stand that's like shaped like a vertebrae. Their little limbs come off. They have like a brain under their hair. The other one that I got is called Rock and Peace. And she's like this little rock girl. Very, very cute. I love her guitar and her outfit and her pigtails and everything. The best part about these dolls, in my opinion, is like all the little gimmicks where like their limbs come out and stuff, but also their art on their cards. These are so freaking cute. I kind of hate when the art is better than the dolls because it makes me sad that like this isn't what I'm getting, but it is what it is. Um, I love these and I think the artist did an absolutely amazing job. Just, um, I wish they looked more like this in real life. Also, <laughs> I feel like people don't get the cards. Like lots of times when I've watched people review these, they're like, I don't know what this means. It means she likes cats and video games. It means she doesn't like dolls and rainbows, like for rock and peace. And then for she's shady, she likes bats in the moonlight she doesn't like the sunlight and garlic because she's a vet like you know it makes sense so yeah those are super super cute they come with a really really cute little case it's like a little bedroom for them and i was just really pleased with them oh yeah they also come with stickers oh my god you guys their stickers are so cute this is rock and pieces stickers let me see if i just dropped and i just dropped she's shady stickers so let me grab those she's shady stickers so yeah, um, those were honestly the only real ones that I wanted. Um, I could also go for Cold Hearted, she's really cute, but those were the only ones that I was really interested in. Um, and if you don't know, you can actually like find which codes on them correspond to which doll, so you aren't like getting a blind box, like you're, you, you know which one you're getting if you want. So that's how I picked out these two, because I was like, I'm not gonna pay $15 for one that I don't want, like I hate that idea. So yes, very pleased with these, probably won't be getting more, but very happy with my purchase. From HomeSense. Wouldn't you know it? I got a candle. This one is $13 and I can smell from here. It smells like apples, like the best, most haunted, spooky apple orchard with just like a touch of spices, but I don't really like cinnamon. It doesn't have too much cinnamon or anything in it. One thing I love about it is its lid. Amazing. I love that vintage witch art. Very, very cool. Next, this is from Spirit Halloween. I managed to restrain myself quite a bit uh, there this year. I think I only got two things, and one of them was this mantle scarf. It's got, like, 
ravens on it and like a little fringe and i think it's really cool it was 17 dollars, which for me is insane uh spirit halloween prices are always kind of wild which is why i kind of have to restrain myself there but um yeah really like that mantle scarf and i'm excited to use it whether i use it for an actual mantle or for like a scarf for me is to be seen but we will find out then i got these from spirit they're sam lollipop earrings from trick or treat i think they're absolutely amazing 13 bucks and really really cute and excited to incorporate these in some halloween looks then i got some halloween themed makeup wipes i usually actually use these mostly for like cleaning my makeup palettes and cleaning like the things that i keep my makeup in i don't use them a ton for my face um, unless i'm going like camping or if i'm really really tired at the end of the night but they're all really cute cute scents and cruelty free so Thumbs up from me. This one's got candy corns on it and it's called vanilla sugar. This one's pumpkin spice and it's got pumpkins on it. This one's vitamin C and it's got spider webs. And this one is candy apple and it's got black cats. And you can never find like cute makeup stuff, or at least I can't find cute makeup stuff that's like Halloween-y at like Winters and Marshalls and stuff. So it was fun to, to find like something cosmetic based. Then from Michaels, I got these glow in the dark skulls. I'm planning to drill holes in them and use them as like beads and different things for creations in the future. And then from, I wanna say Dollarama, I got these witch hats and technically it's a felt banner, but I'm just gonna use them to put little witch hats on all my stuffed animals or at least one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of my stuffed animals at least because I don't really like the green ones. So I'm very excited about that. And then from the dollar store in kind of the like fall section, I got a bunch of felt decorations. These are gonna be helpful when I am crafting things like my vintage vests and stuff like that. So very excited to use those in the future. Now, crafty stuff, Dollar Tree stuff. Let's go. Stocked up on a bunch of bones because I ran out while I was like trying to craft this year and I was like, man, I wish I had more bones. Now I have three packs of them, very happy. I also got these hand bones. They looked more gray in store. They look very brown in person, but that's okay. These like craft picks, toothpicks. They're little bats, they're wooden, and they're like quite 3D, so that's fun. This is for Lemon and Tuna. Set of cat toys. Uh, this was from HomeSense, seven bucks. They're all crinkly and filled with catnip, and I think they'll really enjoy them. More cake picks, toothpicks with little skulls on them. Then I got a bunch of really cute um, like treat bags, mostly to use in crafts. So there's this one with candy corns. These like zipper ones with candy corns. These fabric ones with like a jack-o'-lantern face. And these plastic ones with this really awesome kind of vintage design, I really like these. Then I got a lot of stickers. So first this set with just like some ghouls and goblins and stuff. This feels very monster high. <laughs> Had to get that. And this one with some spooky pets and animals and lots of holographic stuff, so that's super cool. Then I got a load of cards. A lot of these I'll like cut up and use like almost as die cuts. So this one with like kind of a vintagey cat. This will make some awesome like little die cuts like each separate pumpkin. This one I love that design of like the vintage cat, but it says grandson. Hello. <laughs> Amazing. Love this. I know a lot of people don't like the sparkle, but I think it adds like a fun dimension when you're crafting. Oh, this one's wild. This one's like a whole spooky spooky scene and this one so all from dollar tree i got some spooky socks from dollar tree i got two of these pair one to wear and one to turn into some like halloween leg warmer kind of situations when i stitch it with a bunch of others like this shirt then i got some velvet ribbon so they had this orange one this black one and this kind of like dark teal it looks blue on camera but i promise it's like a dark green blue then i got these buckets that i feel like would make good popcorn buckets but also like the little designs are so fun that they would also make good like little die cuts if i want to like take it apart and like kind of cut out all the little designs that i like then these tiny pumpkin pails which i thought would make really great accessories for my stuffed animals these i originally got to put in my plants so i could have like a little pumpkin patch like with my little indoor plants uh but then i thought they would also make really good hair clips because they're very lightweight so i might make some little pumpkin hair clips out of those then these are both window stickers but i'm wondering if i can make them into regular stickers like whether by uh, gluing them taping them putting tape over them laminating them something i'll figure something out but they're both really cute sets and i thought they would just make like even if i just like cut out the square and then glue the square down to something like that would make a good little kind of design so they're technically window stickers and then these are also technically window stickers but like very cute 
cutesy Halloween. I love cutesy Halloween. I know a lot of people don't. I do. And then this is mega super cutesy Halloween. I remember last year they had a pillow with this design on it, which I thought was really cute, but I don't have the space for the pillow. And it was quite expensive. And I was like, it's cute, but is it that? Like, do I really want it that much? And then I found that they had it in boxes, little treat boxes. And whether or not I use them as boxes or just like, again, cut out the little designs and use them as die cuts. Oops. This is like 10 little boxes with these adorable little vintage characters on them and I am so freaking excited dude they're so cute are you joking me um so yeah this was eight bucks from HomeSense and normally I would never buy this kind of like baking accoutrement that like you're supposed to just use and throw out like immediately after use but it's so cute and I really feel like I could use it like in more long-term ways so very excited about that and then also from dollar tree i got a yard steak this will be my first time uh, decorating outside for halloween but it's really cute got a lot of glitter and stuff on it um and i think it's quite fun yeah i honestly i wanted to go to dollar tree because jade had found this bat sign that i and i was looking for that one that's the one thing that i didn't find but i found so much other stuff that it was kind of wild and then let's go over all that extra craft stuff that i wanted to go over so these are some giant stickers. I don't love the pumpkins, but I really think the bats are cool. It's like all this kind of holographic situation. And yeah, like the bats, the potions, very, very fun. I feel like these will make some very interesting decor in like some scrapbooking situation of sorts. Then more cutesy Halloween window stickers. Dude, look at these cats. They are so amazingly cute. I really, really like them. They're really precious. I, I like this set a lot. Um, again, this was from Dollar Dollarama for $1.25. And then these were all little like sets of stickers and stuff from Dollarama. So I got a bunch of little booklets that have like a lot of like holographic and like just kind of like cutesy little Halloween stickers. So I got the vampire one, the pumpkin one, and the ghost one. So lots of stickers to go through $1.25 each. And then a bunch more cards. They have this one every year and I always get it because it's so cute. And I'll be able to use it in like crafts and stuff now. I can like cut out all the little characters and use them as like little die cuts in my crafts. Cut out the little house. Especially because like a lot of these have then like a little design inside so you can like cut out that as well as this. And then like the word that says like where it says happy Halloween and you know like it's, it's fine. Uh, this, it's got like some glitter and stuff on it. Like a little bit of texture. This is really nice. I'm excited to use like these borders. Those cards were all from Dollarama, not Dollar Tree. And I also got these little like pumpkin cards to use in crafts from Dollarama. And a set of glow sticks to use in a drink coming up. Not to like, not to open, but just like to use as a cocktail stirrer kind of situation. So that was all of the Halloweenies that I have gotten this season. I think hopefully that is like the majority that I will get because that was a wild amount of stuff to go through. I'm really excited to decorate and like get my house all spookied and refreshed and and to like sort all my craft supplies because there's like so many spooky crafts that I'm gonna get to make um, with all the exciting things that I found. So very excited about that. I hope this video was fun. I got Tuna right here who's just purring up a storm. She hates being held, but she loves being cuddled. Tuna and I are wishing you a goodbye. That's all I got for you today. Thank you for indulging me and watching my ridiculously long Halloween haul video. I'm wishing you the spookiest of days, the most wonderful of spooky seasons. I hope you find all the exciting things that you're hunting for. Um, good luck with that. And um, I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks again for watching till the end and give yourself a big hug for me. That's all I got for now. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.